Okay, this is question five from example sheet one. Um, looking at air entering a heating section. You'll also find this question on slide 14 of the notes. Um, we're looking at air flowing through a heating section, enters at 15 degrees and 30% relative humidity, um, leaves at 25 degrees C, and we're interested in finding the rate of heat transfer and relative humidity. Okay, so a simple diagram for this will look like Heating, Q in, this is one thing we're interested in finding. Um, we've got points one there and points two there. Temperature here is equal to 15 degrees C and the relative humidity is equal to 30%. Volume flow rate, V1 is equal to 400 cubes per minute. We also know the temperature at two is equal to 25 degrees C. Now, if we look at this on the chart, if you remember from the notes, we actually know that during a simple heating process, the specific humidity remains constant. So we have a straight line from here. W is the same. This is Q1, 15 degrees, and this is Q2, 25 degrees. C. So we actually know over here and W1 is equal to W2. Now because we're given these two values here, we can easily use chart A31, page 46 of the property tables book here, to find that W1 is equal to 6.25. We can also discover the specific Now we know the energy balance of any system. We know that E in is equal to E out. So let me consider this. We know that the mass flow rate at one equals times by the enthalpy plus Q in, because it's a heating process, is equal to M2 times H2. And to be a two, and we can simplify this down because we know m1 is equal to m2. We can easily rearrange this equation to similarly at point two. We can also we because we know w1 is equal to w2 is equal to 2.25, and because we know the temperature is given p2 at 25 degrees, we also have two values. So we can also find the enthalpy of H2, which is equal to 54 kilojoules per kg dry air, and Q is equal to one equation we previously wrote. All that's left to find is the relative humidity at point two, which you can easily find using chart A31 and you will find 17.5%. If you're struggling to use the chart, please refer to the earlier videos.